Let's talk about the eight unexpected benefits of iodine. Now, iodine is this trace mineral. Now, you don't need a lot of it, but you definitely need the right amount. And if you don't have the right amount, all sorts of things can happen in your body simply because every single cell in the entire body needs iodine, not just the thyroid. Now, your thyroid is the iodine hog. It'll tend to suck up a lot of the iodine that you have and not leave much for anything else. So just because your thyroid is working and you don't have any thyroid symptoms doesn't mean you have ample amounts of iodine. So it's not just about having adequate amounts of iodine. It's about having enough for all of your cells. And unfortunately, the current um, RDAs for iodine are way too low. It's recommended that we need about 150 micrograms per day. But people in Japan, which have very low rates of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, are consuming a hundred times that amount, but it's mainly from sea kelp because sea kelp is one of the best sources of iodine. Now, I want to be totally transparent with you. I do have a Dr. Berg brand sea kelp, and yes, I do have a very strong bias on my own brand as far as the quality and where it's sourced from, but here's my point. A lot of people are deficient in iodine, and unfortunately, it's just not in our foods anymore unless you're consuming foods from the ocean, like shellfish or sea kelp, like seaweed, et cetera. Now there's a really simple way to determine if you're deficient in iodine. Simply go to your local drugstore and get a little bottle of iodine and some cotton balls, okay? And then what you do is you take a little iodine, put it on a cotton ball and rub it either on the inside of your upper arm or your forearm or the inside of your leg roughly in about a two inch diameter. Now make sure it doesn't touch your other clothes because it can stain your other clothes. And you could put a bandaid over it if you want, but if you're deficient within one hour, it'll be gone. The stain will be gone because your skin absorbs it. So if after an hour, it's still like orangish yellow, then you're usually not deficient. But I would say probably over a billion people on this planet have an iodine deficiency, and a lot more of them have a subclinical iodine deficiency that might not show up um, if people are just focusing on the thyroid symptoms. I mean, our bodies utilize iodine for many different reasons. Um, one really uh, interesting way it uses iodine is detoxifying mercury, lead. When you get enough iodine and you're exposed to lead and mercury, you'll see higher levels coming through the urine because your body's able to get rid of it. Also in your body's ability to detoxify fluoride and bromide, okay, which is in a lot of the flower products, which has the ability to deplete iodine. But of course, if you've been watching my videos, you don't have to worry about that because you're not consuming refined grains. So what I wanna do with this video is show you all the unexpected benefits of having sufficient iodine that really don't have a lot to do with the thyroid, okay? Number one, its ability to shrink cysts, okay? Cysts that are developing in the breast tissue, like in fibrocystic breast, cysts on the ovaries, cysts in your uterus, and of course, cysts even on the thyroid. These cysts that are created, uh, if they just don't have enough iodine over time, they develop into nodules, and they can also develop into cancer. That's why iodine has anti-cancer properties. And iodine is really good at regulating um, estrogen dominance. If you have too much estrogen, iodine can help bring that down to a normal level. Okay, number two, I've done a whole video on this. Iodine helps to reduce the size of skin tags and warts. If you haven't seen my video on that, I put that down below. All right, next one is in its ability to help break down um, connective tissue in a condition called Dupertons contracture. That's a situation where you have a scar tissue on some of your tendons in your finger and your finger is just like stuck. You'd wanna to put topical iodine on there each day. And within about a month, you should see some pretty good results. And that relates to the next benefit, uh, scar regeneration. So let's say for example, you have a keloid or some surgical scar and you put iodine into that scar each day over a period of about a month, you're gonna see some pretty cool results. You might even see hair growth that occurs right over the scar. Now, if you're concerned about uh, it staining your skin, 
they do have a type of iodine that is clear, that doesn't stain your skin. But iodine helps break down scar tissue. All right, the next unexpected benefit would be on your mood. If you have depression, iodine many times can improve it. Now, they don't know exactly why. It could be because it's improving your thyroid gland, which can bring up your mood, or it could be involved in certain um, neurotransmitters in your brain. They don't know. But iodine can actually bring you up mood-wise. All right, next one, it can help shrink uh, stones in your parotid glands. Now, your parotid gland helps you make saliva. So having enough iodine can even prevent those stones from occurring. Iodine can help reduce hot flashes as well as heavy menstrual cycles because of what it does to estrogen. It helps to balance estrogen. And last very cool effect is it can help reduce cystic acne, which by the way, is many times related to too much estrogen. Now, the next video I want you to watch is a more comprehensive video about iodine, which I think you'll very much enjoy, even though it was a very old video. So check it out. I put it right here.